of Football Manager 2015 here with Aston Villa. It's the last day of the season and it is 10th. 13th of May 2018 and we travel to Old Trafford on my birthday in the game. Which could end in jubilation or major disappointment. Most likely major disappointment. And we'll look through the fixtures. Since last time out, which was the really disappointing one-all draw against Blackburn, kind of needed to win that game, but nonetheless, we um, we got a draw, I suppose. Managed to beat Watford 2-0, Tom Cleverley with a rare goal at a crucial time, and Roberto Pereira also getting himself on the score sheet. Mr. Reliable is Roberto. Uh, Jason Lowe got sent off for Watford. Uh, we managed to sneak past Ipswich 2-1, and I mean sneak. Um, Walcott gave us the lead in the ninth minute, but Lulich equalised with a minute uh, to go before half-time. Benteke scored his second goal back from the club, or back to the club, uh, with one minute left from the penalty spot to give us three points against Ipswich, who are already relegated, I think, even before this last day. Shows you kind of we really made a balls of it in that game. But then we, we didn't make a balls of it against West Ham. We smashed them 5-0. A brace for Benteke. Grealish, Moy Gomez and Roberto Pereira all on the score sheet. You couldn't ask for much better. 5-0. But then last week a 2-2 draw away at Stoke. Which was actually probably decent enough in the end. We were 2-0 down through a Val Valentin Stocker. Uh, brace, but Federico Bravo and Moy Gomez scored two in two minutes uh, to give us a point. Spurs have been keeping up the charge though behind us, and we go into this last game of the season still in fourth pl place. Were we in fourth place in the last episode? I'm not quite so sure. But we are in fourth place. Nottingham Forest, they've dropped off the ball, so we have qualified for Europe. Um, we have qualified for the Europa League, but it's the difference between Europa League and Champions League. Um, we're two points ahead of Spurs, um, but Spurs have Blackburn away today, who are already relegated. So we kind of need to win, because if we get a point, they will go ahead. What were our, rec what were, what were our results against Spurs this year? Um, where are they? We beat them once, four two. They probably beat. Oh, and we beat them twice, two one. So actually, I think because I think that's the next thing it goes down to. Like so, if they only win one nil or something, and we draw. No, no. See, it's goal different than goals scored. We've scored much more goals, so we're actually in the draw. If we get a point today. Oh, I don't know, because then if they win 3 nil or something, they've won it. And we'll just see how it goes. Horn in nets, back four, Santon, Balanta, Dede and Peruzzi. Bravo and Cleverly, Grealish, Pereira, Moy Gomez, Benteke up top. He's come to the fore these past few games. He's up to four goals in the last two or three games, which has really helped us out in um, kind of in a tough situation, you know, and he's just come through it. He's been the big game player we've uh, we've looked to, and he's produced for us. So I'm going to tell the boys uh, to give the fans something for the end of the season. I've said I have faith. What we're going to get is we're going to get the match stats up. I'm going to get oh no, that's a bit big. Um, where are we going to put it down here? League table. Just trying to scooch it so it's not kind of interrupting the pitch or anything. And um, we'll have the latest scores over here. Again, need to try and minimise it as much as we can. And it doesn't seem to want to. Okay, we're not going to go for that then. Uh, we better have this though on important scores then. Is it going to... Yeah, important scores. So, there we go. And we are away today at Old Trafford. It's Bernard and... Spurs 1 0 up after a minute. And Spurs are 2 0 up after 6 minutes. Oh my god. What a disastrous start. 
Oh, two one at Spurs. We're back up to fourth position. That's all good. Here's Dead A though. Really forgotten that Man, Man U are in third. Because um, they've kind of. Them and Chelsea have been quite irrelevant this year, really. 12 points, both of them behind Manchester City, which I'm sure they're both not too impressed by. Di Maria's going to score, isn't he? Bernat. They're going to score here. Di Maria. Mata. Bernard. 1 0, Manchester United. And as you can see from the match stats, clearly deserved. Um, they've absolutely mauled us so far. The question is, can we get to half time just 1 0? That's all I'm looking for at the moment. Um, not looking for anything more than that. Tom cleverly picks up a knock. That's just not what we need at this time. And we haven't had a single shot today. And we've just been all over the shop. You know, I don't know what we've what we've what's happened to us today. Like I know Man U are a decent team, but it doesn't mean you don't you know, stop playing. So what we're gonna do is put Delph in there, or are we gonna do that? Yes, we are. Suppose possibly a risky move bringing Delph in in this sort of a game, but thing, these things have got to be done. Spurs are three-one up. So we now have to go and win this game. Oh, but you still do not have had. We still have not had a shot. Would you fucking get? Put pressure on them. Score. We need to score twice. Hey, you got a shot. Whoopie do. Dead A. Miss Peruzzi. Moy Gomez. Four one Spurs. It's all over there. We 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 have to win now. Peruzzi, Moy Gomez, Pereira, Benteke! No, not the time to miss Benteke. I pick your moments, why don't you, you know? You gotta be better than that in this sort of a situation. Oh no, 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 no. No, no. What the fuck have you done, Timo Horn? He's been so good for us this year. And he just does that. What are you doing? No, oh, no, it's 3 now. 3 now. Oh! How has he not scored that? He's just been dreadful today. Don't know what's happened to us. I know it's a tour. It's always a tough ask going to Old Trafford and getting anything from the game, but you know, nonetheless, got to put up some sort of an effort. So we've just got to roll it over. It's expected to lose, and you know, well, that that's kind of the villa of real life. You know, I don't want that. I want the villa of now, the team I've created, the the stunning team I've created, um, within well, four years or something in charge. Like we're gonna have to settle for a uh, Europa League. I'm not sure that may be a blessing in disguise, and you you never know really until the thing actually happens. Like Champions League is probably a step too far, especially for the squad we had out today. You know, which was really our our first team squad. But um, you know, like you can't you can't play that poorly. You know, Manchester United are probably a fairly average team in the Champions League. Like they were knocked down the first knockout round this this year. Uh, well, in in this season. Uh, we get our 17.5 million. We have qualified for the Europa League, which I suppose is something. Uh, so we've got our first taste of Europe next year to look forward to. Hopefully we get a bit of finance as well from the board so we can um, uh, bring in necessary players to help us out. If we have a quick look at the final table in the end, we finished in 5th with 64 points. Forrest... Uh, I don't know, that, are they going to get a European spot? It depends, what's actually in the FA Cup? Um, no, that's not what we want. Uh, there we go. Man City and Wolves, bloody hell, Wolves aren't even in the Premier League. Wolves are in the Championship and yet they're in the FA Cup final, so they, they could qualify for um, Europe instead of Forest. Instead, um, but we, we've got our uh, ticked off. As you can see here, Roberto Pereira has tied third in top goal scores despite being a midfielder. Top average rating as well goes to him. Uh, he's second in the assists. Top of player of the match. Doesn't look like we have anybody else even nearing it. 
Now we'll have a look at the overall stats of our, our club. Pereira got 18, Grealish got 17, Walcott did quite well on loan, he got 10, Boye 7, Gomez 6, Bonazzoli 5, Benteke 4. Top assists, again, it's Pereira, Grealish and Walcott, the top men, 12, 11 and 9 respectively. Moy Gomez with 8, Boye with 7, Bonazzoli with 5. Top average rating, it's Pereira, once again. Then Balanta, Grealish, Dede, Cleverly, Walcott, Acore. So, that is the end of this season. Um, it was a good season on the whole, uh, finishing 5th. After last year's tent is is good. We've got Europe next year, uh, but no Champions League, unfortunately. A bit of a disappointment. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. I'll see you guys later.